right. S still snowing. Flurries, I guess. It's not really sticking on the ground. But uh, it's 20 degrees here in Colorado Springs. Today is the 17th. It is St. Patrick's Day. And I got up at 6 a.m. Had breakfast at 7, kind of waited for it to get a little bit warmer. Now we're going to head out. know the name of this trail but we're on Helen Hunt at the Cheyenne Park thing. Oh look, Preston joined us. Hi Preston. We're a little bit above Colorado Springs now. I don't know my elevation, but a little winded today on this hike. Tried to make it up to Helen Hunt Falls, but people were stopping us. They were coming back down this way. They were rolling down their window telling us, yeah, there's black ice and, and there's cars and ditches. And it's pretty bad up there. I want to turn around. So it's a pretty narrow road with ice and snow. <laughs> so. I had to do like a 20 point turn to get out of where I was at, head back down the hill. Oh yeah, we'll see.
right, so see some signage here at the trailhead where we parked. It's called uh, Middle Columbine Trail. It's a bridge. Sorry for picking up my heavy breathing. Um, yeah, we're doing some elevation here. No cars are coming. All right, no cars are coming. Go. Go here. <laughs> this little bridge we just crossed right here. but Colorado sure is beautiful. Would you agree? Yeah. <laughs> I'm already winded. And there's the car. <laughs> sometimes I feel acclimated, sometimes I don't. I'll take my uh, saturated oxygen. Oh yeah, he's cool. Check my saturated oxygen. I was 100% earlier. Oh, yeah. Always. Yeah. How bad could it be? Walking up the steep area. After further observation, we realized that it said trail closed ahead, not trail closed right there, so we're pushing through. Pretty neat structure. Don't know what it's for. Looks like it might might have a bathroom there, I don't know. Some kind of a building. that for? <laughs> Who knows? We got almost seven tenths of a mile down. What cool formations they've got here. As far as we can get. Oh wait. Yeah. We're close. 
to uh, one mile now. So I think we're going to turn around. I'm just going to read these signs real quick. Or you can keep on going up that way. <laughs> it's nice out here. I probably could have left the uh, the heavier jacket back in the car. I'm wearing a sweatshirt underneath here, but probably could have got by with just one sweatshirt. I'm watching our progress here also on all trails. Here's me center it. Can't really see you, but we're going the right way. trail we came in made a loop around now we're walking back this way I'm surprised we didn't see the guy and his dogs oh yeah but he could have went anywhere a lot of different little trails up in here right, there's that structure again as we are heading back down the trail I see the car from here. 1.41 miles. So we came in right over here and saw that deer in this area somewhere. Might have been right over here too. So we just got on the trail when we saw it. Oh yeah, there's a dead thing. Looks like a dead coyote. I don't know if the camera picked it up. I don't know if I'm going to get demonetized for that, but yeah. Who knows what it is. We are 1.58 miles now. 43 minutes. We can't have stopped and looked at stuff, so... We still got to... Two tenths of a mile to get to the car there. Last quarter of a mile I opened up my jacket. But now I think I'll zip it back up or at least the, the sweatshirt underneath so losing a little little heat. What are you running from? Alright. Back to the car, 1.80 miles, 47 minutes. Not too bad for stopping quite a bit and playing Pokemon and uh, taking videos and photos. That's it for day number three. We'll see you tomorrow for day number four.